All right, I need to go talk to Bull. Sarah, I haven't checked in with Cole either. Bull, how you doing? How's it going? Good. Can I ask you a really awkward question? Why the name Iron Bull? So, how did you get the name Iron Bull? I picked it. We don't have names under the cube. Just, I don't know. Job descriptions, I guess. Huh. When I came to Orlais, I chose the Iron Bull for myself. But why that name, though? Out of all the other names in the world you could have picked, why the Iron Bull? But why specifically Iron Bull? This may surprise you, but I really like hitting things. Wait, no, no, also, you don't. It's the Iron Bull, technically. I like having an article at the front. Fair. It makes it sound like I'm not even a person, just a mindless weapon, an implement of destruction. That really works for me. Thank you for answering my question, Bull. See you later, Bull. Nice talking with you, boss. I mean, whatever works for you is fine. I just think it's a, I mean, I support it. It's what we're gonna go with. Sarah, I need to talk to you. Sarah, how do you think in this place with everybody talking all the time? Hey you, I have Hi. an inquisitor favor to ask. Okay. Just a little thing, really. A little march around for some of your people. It's nothing for you, right? All right, well, just details first. I won't agree to anything without details. Smart of you. I wouldn't dream of wasting your super important time. It's a Red Jenny thing. Okay. I got a tip that some noble stiffs are arguing over Vachelle. Land squabbles. Land squabbles. They're getting little people beat up. So I need you to go to your big table and send some people to walk through town. Just walk through. Just walk through. Easy, right? All right. I'll uh, I'll talk to the war council about it and see if we can get some uh, troops mobilized. All right, Sarah. I'll have someone look into it. It's fun, right? Being important without doing a thing. Well, not much of a thing. Not everything has to be torn skies and ancient assholes. Every little thing makes a difference somewhere. All right, Sarah. I'll let you know when that gets done. All right. Now, I think somebody had mentioned that Cole was hanging out up here. Cole, are you up here? Cole? Cole, are you hiding? Hello? What are you doing? Listening. Two? What are we listening to? Eyes rough, jangling armor hurts my ears, back aching, fingers too clumsy for knots. Wind cool like Aunt Eloise's pond, lips scalded as I sip, warmth blossoms, first kiss in the barn, what was his name? Tin jangle as the blood spills, Pierre's wrapped body on the wagon to the chantry, five more minutes, my fault. Uh, is that... Can you help her? I assume that you're hearing her thoughts right now and what she's going through. Can you help her at all? Can you do something for her? Yes. It's okay. Nothing you did mattered. What? Who are you? They lie there, and sometimes they die, just like Pierre. You can't save them. I don't... I don't know who you are. Wait. That didn't work. Let me try again. You'll forget me in a minute. Wait. What, Cole? What are you doing? What are you going to do? Make her forget me. Then do it again, the right way. Cole, you're here, and they can see you. So, maybe we should try a different approach this time. Cole, stop. Inquisitor, your worship, what are you doing here? Is this man with you? Yes, this is Cole. Yes, 
Sorry to trouble you. How do I do it right if I've done it wrong and I can't make her forget? You just need to talk to her, Cole. You don't need to make her forget. Everybody can say, or anybody can say the wrong thing, but you can still make up for it, you know? Just talk to her. And you can apologize for what you said first and then try again, or you can just keep talking and hope it makes sense at some point. Don't root around inside her head. Treat her like a normal person. Your worship, is that... Do you need something of me? You were sad. Of course I was sad. A man died because I couldn't save him. It wasn't your fault. You could work until you fell over and you still wouldn't save everyone. Thank you for saying that. Excuse me, Your Worship. Mm -hmm. She's not better. Honestly, Cole, telling her it wasn't her fault was probably the best thing you could have told her. And while she's not better right now, she will be. And it'll take time, though. She needs time to work through it. If I'd done it right, it would have worked faster. Then you have time to work through it, too. I don't understand. You will. But thank you for trying to help. Oh, Cole. It's not easy. You'll get there, though. Time and practice, just like everybody else. Have I... Blackwall! Oh, I gotta give Blackwall the stuff that I found. He fights for Blackwall! People. I gotta talk to you. I found, uh... Grey Warden artifacts. Heard you found something that had to do with Wardens. I did. Would have liked to have seen it. I'm sorry. I've been meaning to thank you. For what? There are a hundred things that need your attention. You didn't have to take the time to help me. And yet you did. Well, it was for a good cause. If the history you pursue benefits the Wardens, then it was worth it. You've proven yourself to be an honorable woman. Principled. I've great admiration for you. And I've never been more certain in my decision to join you. Uh, thank you. Thank you? Um, don't- don't worry though, I'm actually literally just hiding the bad- Josephine and Leliana handle that for me. Leliana makes sure my sordid secrets never come to light. Well then, I won't pry. I prefer to go on believing only good things about you. We'll talk later. Nothing right now. Perhaps in a bit. You know, it's really- it's really dangerous to only see the- good in someone and not all of them that's Finally, dangerous the horses i forgot about the ferelden horses and now look at you you have a beautiful stable to hang out in yes you do all right have i said hi i feel i know i have to go talk to dorian quickly mm, maybe <laughs> maybe i'll just talk to dorian on the road about the letter that's probably a good thing then that way he can't accidentally blow up skyhold in anger it's a really good idea otherwise i've kind of stopped by and said hi to most people right i feel like there's so many at one point there was just like the advisors and then varric and solace and that was it now it's like everyone's here there's a lot of people living here and it's just overwhelming. Um, and no then worship. there's... Hello, yes, hi. Hi. There's still a matter of this to handle. Yay. I don't know when I'm gonna sit down on that chair and, and actually do the whole judging thing, but that day is not today. I'm, I'm not ready for that. I... That's not my style. Like, don't we have other people that can handle that? No? Oh, at least the throne is cuter. I'm so, so glad that really scary throne is gone. And uh, we've just got this kind of less intimidating chair. And at least there's no fire on it. I mean, the fire would have been very intimidating off of that. All right. So I think it's about time to, to pack it up and, uh, and head on over to the Emerald Graves. Good to see you again, Inquisitor. Hope you've got your comfortable boots on. The scouts have seen a number of fade rifts all over the forest. We've located this mysterious Fairbanks. 
He won't share his information with anyone but you. Uh-huh. He and his men are camped out at Watcher's Reach, on the path ahead. From what we can tell, they're refugees from the war. Peasants, mostly. Okay, so... What do we know about Fairbanks? Tell me everything you know about Fairbanks. We don't know much about him. He appeared after the Civil War started, helping people fleeing from the destruction. Huh. Fairbanks is likely not his real name. Yeah, I'd agree with you on that. It sounds a little suspicious. Anything else about the area you want me to know about? Do you know anything else about the region? They call this place the Emerald Graves. Legend says that a tree grows here for every elven knight of Halam Sharal who perished in its defense. Makes you sad, doesn't it? It does. What was done to the elves here was unforgivable. Never again. At least I hope not. Not if I have anything to do or to say about it. I'm going to be going, but thank you for, uh, for keeping me updated. Thank you for the information. I'll head out. Uh, one other thing. Yes? A group of deserters from the Imperial armies has established itself here. Freemen of the Dales, they call themselves. They are hostile to the Inquisition and everyone else. Watch your back, Inquisitor. Freeman of the Dales, huh? All right, so we've got a rogue faction. We've got uh, uh, somebody who's helping people from the war who more than likely it's not his real name. And then I've also got to find Samson's letters. So my goodness, this is beautiful, though. You don't get to see stuff like this in the circle. Wow. I definitely... It's just... Hold on. I just want to do a little bit of... Expl Can I just see what's over here? I just want to... I just want to know. It's just endless forest right now. It's so pretty. Wow. Okay. Well, I don't think I'm going to put up too much of a fuss being here. I actually really like it here. Is that, is that those, um... Hello, are we going to... Nope. He's a dead man. So He's that's dead why, man. that's why you don't like us. Because we're here, because we're here to help them. Right? Is that, is that what I'm hearing? Sir, don't touch Varric. Oh, there's one more of you. All right, you're gone now. So that's why they don't like us. Oh, there's a, you're still alive too? All right, well, you're not alive anymore. So that's why they don't like us. This all makes sense now. It's because we're helping Fairbanks. Okay. Now, let me just, so Fairbanks, I think it was marked he's here, which very close to you. Hmm. Where is... There's Red Lyrium that Varric has marked on my map. So this is for Cullen. So there's this. Is there more? Okay, this and then... There is a lot of Red Lyrium in this area. Okay, so there's a wide variety. Like, there are a lot of different places that everything for Cullen could be. For uh, the Samson letters. So... I guess for right now, the best thing to do is go and talk to Fairbanks and then kind of establish some kind of working relationship rapport thing with him and his group and then see how we can help him while also finding those letters for Colin about Samson. Fairbanks is expecting you as a camp. Thank you. That was a little delayed, sir. All right. So down here. What is... Oh, I don't think I've seen this before. I'll take some of that, and I'll also take some of that, too. You never know who back at Skyhold is going to need it. This is good. Oh, even the ravines are pretty here. I wonder, does anybody really live here? Live here? Like, is there a civilization here, or is it more like, if you're somebody that's trying to avoid everybody else, this is where you go? kind of thing because if there's no like actual civilization here and it's more just like this is where you go to avoid everybody i would very much consider moving here once everything is done i would wouldn't have to worry about people recognizing me as the inquisitor if my neighbors are you know 
cute animals. Fairbanks, is, is that who you are? Yes, Fairbanks? It is an honor to meet the Herald of Andraste. Not the Herald. It's been a really long time since somebody called me that, but... <laughs> not the Herald. But is it everything you hoped for? I hope I don't disappoint. Not at all. But as they say, actions speak louder. As my missive stated, we can help each other. You have encountered the Freemen. Aggressive bastards, no? No, they're not the They've nicest. They've killed a dozen of my people. We've tried to fight, but we cannot match their strength. You can. Why should you care about this, you ask? Because the free men are colluding with your enemy. My enemy? I also like it that you're asking these questions before I get a chance to. Which enemy do you mean? The rogue Templars. I've seen them through the woods, heading for the free men bases, leaving with crates. Destroy the free men, and they lead you straight to the red Templars. This, I promise. You are very excitable. Uh, that, that's a lot of enthusiasm. We appreciate that around here, but um, I'll definitely see what I can do. I'll look into this, Fairbanks. All my information about the free men is right here in our camp. Help us, and everything I know about the Dales, about these woods, I will share with the Inquisition. Fair. That's a fair exchange. Also, if you could tell me the least populated area for this area, just so, you know... In case somebody wanted to mark a future site for a home so they could be far, far away from other people, that would be great. So, did he say in here? Uh, what is this? Is this it? Uh, sorry to tell you that we... that the, Tell you of the lives we have lost. Gertrude, Siobhan, Devon, and Jacques were taken by sister... Oh, while hunting. They're dead, I pray that the... Okay, so these are some of the people that we've lost. Or they've lost, not we. They've lost. What is this? Needed more elf fruit, so I went with him to the grove by the strange rock on the road that looked like a grumpy old woman smoking a pipe. Freeman were there. They didn't see us at first, but Greer stepped on a twig. Didn't think that happened in real life, only in stories. A damn twig. I barely got away. Didn't like having to tell Fairbanks we lost the herbalist. They're gonna kill us all one by one. Huh. And then what is that? Okay. Interesting. Same old. So they've kind of just set up camp in what looks like some kind of old elven ruin of sorts, huh? I don't... Look at this. Definitely elven, definitely very old. I love that they built it right into a uh, thing, though. That's really cool. Um, oh, it's one of these. I'm not in the mood to talk right now. Wolf Falls. Even with the countless gallons of water rushing down over it for centuries, the wolf statue remains intact. Magic, perhaps? Oh. Interesting. I'll have to tell Solus about that when we get back. I can't believe they're gone. Just like that. What do you mean? Oh. I'm sorry for your loss. That was a slightly awkward conversation. Hello! Hi, I'm just I can't taking believe he's making us hide out here like mice. Oh, it happens. I know. What is this? Oh, it's a map. Okay. Of something? I sorry I picked up your map, but Fairbanks said to have a Damn look around. And, he's concerned for everyone. and I thought that that was part of what Fairbanks Shh. wanted me to read. Oh Rest now. sorry. I just think I have everything that Fairbanks wants me to look at, but I'm not Sure, he wasn't very descriptive. I'm he just too said old to be living in a forest. Really? Well, you could always come live at Skyhold. I mean, he wasn't very descriptive. He just said go that way, and everything I have is there, and that that was all the direction he gave me, and now we're here. So that happened, but I guess it's now time to uh to explore, right? I guess it's time to start exploring the Emerald Graves and handling all the trouble. This place is so beautiful. I'm going to take that. You never know who's going to need it. You. You're watching me? Y you do realize I'm the Inquisitor, right? Uh-huh. Well, have fun watching. Especially my very tall Canary friend. Um, But we've got to go to some of that stuff for Fairbanks. Also, I know Colin's letters are here in regards to Samson. I also just want to explore. This place is stunning and we should stay here as long as possible because it beats being at Skyhold. I mean, I like Skyhold. I do. I really do. It's a home, but 
There are so many nobles. So many nobles floating around. And they all have opinions and they all want to talk at once. Why does every noble want to say something all at the same time? Can't they just, you know, not? Is that possible? I don't know. Anyways, what is this? Is this somebody's home? Ooh, or was? This is very fancy. I didn't even know you had homes this fancy out here. Oh, look at that house. I kind of want to go in. Is that rude? If it's somebody else's home, is it rude? I mean, if it's abandoned, then it would be part of our duty to go and explore. Because what if there are bandits pillaging and thieving in there? I mean, we should go in and inspect to keep the peace. Yes, exactly. Are you going to... Uh, are you more of those people? Really? You're more of those people, aren't you? Oh, we have no time for this. None! Sir, I was gonna go inspect a home. Hold on, hold on. Can you just... Thank you! Oh! Oh, sir, you, uh, you fell a long way. Okay. So, this place, huh? Look at this! I'm just gonna... I'm gonna have to go in. I need a key. Sir, did you have a key on you? Did you have a key on your body? Um... Your body vanished. Is there a key here? No, there was an axe though. I'll take that just in case anybody wants it. There, oh, what about? Nope, no key there. Okay, there maybe, aha, there are more of them. One of you guys has a key and I need it. So let's do this, please, please just fork it over. There's a lot of you. Ah. Just, guys, just hand over the key and I don't have to kiss. Did you just walk through the boxes? Did he just walk through them instead of around them? That is... That is... Something, huh? That is definitely is something. The people running around the dales hurting helpless peasants? <sighs> I know. I know. And we, we're gonna put a stop to it. Aha! He had the key. And a interesting looking weapon. Oh, this is one of those Inquisition things. How did somebody get it here and not get attacked? The Betrayer. Even Mafarath, the Betrayer, had a part to play. Who are we to say elves do not? From a sermon given by Sister Amidi at the conclusion of the Exalted March of the Dales. Huh. I mean, of course elves have a part to play. I mean, they exist. They're, you know, a species. They're, you know, people. Of course they have a part to play. Ugh, more of that stuff. All right, moving on. Now I have a key. Now I'm going in and, you know, liberating the house of bad guys. That's exactly what we're going with. 